Welcome to KTR. Today we're going to be having lots and lots of fun creating some slimy and gooey slime using this wacky lab. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at the box before we actually get started here. So here it is in the front, not much to see, just the, the scientist and his little helper making and playing with some slime. On the back, however, it shows you um, everything that the lab comes with. So the little cups and stuff like that. So I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to get my hands messy. So let's go ahead and get everything out and set up our lab and start making some slime. Okay, so here's everything laid out that comes with our lab. So let's just take a quick look at all of the stuff that it comes with in case you decide to get this for yourselves. So it comes with two of these really cool uh, shaker cups here. And of course, so you don't get the slime all over when you're shaking it and making it. Um, it comes with two lids. That's the lid. And then it comes with these uh, two plastic uh, containers or cups here. Um, it comes with this little scooper. And it also comes with this little dropper, but I believe this is actually um, meant to make bubbles so in, in the slime, so we'll test that out. Um, it also comes with this mi uh, magnifying glass, so I guess if you want to study the texture of the slime, you can. It comes with a bag of bugs, so that's going to be lots of fun. And it comes with these little beads, it says styrofoam beads, so we'll see what that's for in a minute. It comes with this pearl swirl uh, fizzer, so that's gonna be that already sounds interesting. <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Um, it also comes with a bag of sequins and a bag of I believe these are little um, beads of dye, so you can make different color um, goos and slimes if you want. Uh, let's see what else. It comes with this bag of something and it says grow snow powder. So one of the slimes that we can make is going to look like snow. So that's going to be awesome. And then last but not least, it comes with gravity goo powder. So I believe this is just going to be for all of the other basic slimes that you're going to make. So, all right. I don't know about you guys, but um, I am ready to get my slime making skills on. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and make our first batch of slime. Okay, so according to the instructions, the first thing we need to do is take a half a scoop, so using this scoop, a half a scoop of the goo powder, or the gravity goo powder, I should say. So I'm just gonna stick this in here, and I think that's about half, a little bit more. I think that's about half. So I'm gonna stick it in there, and then after that, it says that you need to take, um, let's move that to the side. It says that you need to take some cool water and you need to fill it up right in between the two and the three. So I pre-measured it. It's gonna be about all of this. So I'm just gonna pour it in there. Ooh, some of it's spilling out. Okay, so I'm stopping between the two and the three. And I am going to make a colored goo, and you know what? It's going to be a surprise. I'm just sticking my hand in there, I'm not even looking right now. And I grabbed a tablet, stick it in there. There we go. I'm also, you know what? I'm going to add one more. Let's see what color we get. Okay. And so it looks like I added a blue, I think that's blue, and a yellow, which means we're probably going to get green then. And I'm going to go ahead and add some of the um, sequins. So we're gonna make our first batch is gonna be a sparkly sequence filled goo. Okay, got it. All right, and I'm gonna pour some of them in here. Not all of them, oops, okay. Now, according to the directions, then you put the lid on. And I believe it's on there good. Okay, and then you gotta shake it. So, so I'm just gonna shake, shake, shake. And it doesn't say really how long. It just says for a few seconds and it should start making goo almost immediately. So I'm just gonna keep shaking. And I can see some of it at the bottom, but 
Okay, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, and it's starting to become goo. It's starting to look. Just so you guys can see, it's starting to, but it says that it does have to sit for about five to 10 minutes. So we're gonna let this sit for about five to 10 minutes and then we're gonna come back and visit our slime. Oh my gosh, you can already see it. <laughs> this is so cool. Now, just a heads up, I did forget to show you guys these um, earlier. They do come with these bags. This uh, little lab kit here does come with these little bags here so you can save all the different slimes. So I'm gonna stick it in here and then let it sit for about five to 10 minutes before we come back and take a look at it. So let me open it up. Oh, my hands are so slippery from touching that goo. <laughs> I gotta, gotta clean my hands. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna pour it in here. All of that slimy messiness here. <laughs> Alrighty. Stick that little blob in there too. Ooh, oh my god, this is slimy. Okay, and I'm gonna let it sit there for five to 10 minutes and then we'll come back and take a look at it. Okay, so it's been five minutes and our glitter goo or sequence filled goo is, should be ready at least. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this is awesome. Do you guys see this? Oh my gosh. You know what, let me get a cup and I'm gonna, you know what, actually better yet, I'm gonna take this plastic bag and I'm gonna lay it out right over here. So we can take a look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. You guys see that? That is so cool. Just so you guys can get a good look. So this is the goo. <laughs> and let me tell you, it is definitely messy and gooey. There it is. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this uh, glittery glue? Oh my gosh, it's like so slimy. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and create our bug-filled slime. So we're gonna follow the same steps as the first one. Okay, so now that our red slime has been shaken, now I'm going to stick it in this bag because remember, they all have to sit for about five to 10 minutes after you've shaken it so that it can start to form even more so. So I'm gonna stick it in the bag. Look how gooey and slimy that is. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna add a few bugs in there and then I'm gonna let it sit. So let's add our bugs, and we're gonna revisit this slime in about five to 10 minutes. Here they are. <laughs> let's see, so we got a spider, we got um, this little beetle looking thing, a ladybug, and another kind of beetle. All right, so now I'm gonna zip this shut, and mix it around in there a little bit more, and I'm gonna set this off to the side and let it sit for five to 10 minutes, and then we'll come back and take a look at it. Okay, I think our bug filled goo is ready to go. So um, for this time around, instead of using a plastic bag, I'm using just a big old plate. That's what this is here. Okay, and let's take a look at our next goo. So this one, if you remember, I made this red goo uh, with the bugs in it. So let's go ahead, take this out. I'm gonna grab the little ladybug first. Ready? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look how, oh, it's so slimy. Bugs are already are a little creepy, but now you add some slime to it, and let me tell you, it is nasty. <laughs> There's that one. Let's take all of them out. Here's our little beetle looking thing here. 
Oh my gosh, watch. If I pick it up, it's like, <laughs> Oh, that's so nasty. <laughs> All right, and let's take out, this is another one. Look at that, you guys. Oh, so gross. Oh my gosh. But I'll tell you what, I kind of like the red, to be honest with you. Okay, so here it is again. All these new bugs. Ew. <laughs> What do you guys think? Do you like this bug filled goo? Or do you like that glittery goo? Okay, moving on to slime number three. So this time we're going to make another kind of slime, but we're gonna add these styrofoam beads in there. And they don't, they're not gonna do anything special, but what it's gonna do, it's gonna make a, a different kind of texture to it. So we're gonna try this out. And this time I'm thinking about leaving it clear just to see what like some cool clear slime would look like. So again, I'm gonna take a half a scoop of the gravity goo powder, just like the first time. Okay, so now that I've been shaking for about a minute, I'm going to open it back up again. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like all over. All right, and I'm going to stick it inside of this bag. Ooh, it looks so gross. <laughs> And it's probably gonna feel as gross as it looks, you guys. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some of these beads in there and then I'm gonna let it sit for five to 10 minutes, just like the others. All right, we're gonna stick them all in there, just because. Zip it shut. All right, and we'll just shake it around just a little bit, mix it around so the beads get all over. Okay, and I'm gonna let this one sit for about five to 10 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, bead filled um, goo. So now that five to 10 minutes has passed, let's see what it looks like. And here it is, ooh, oh my God, this is actually really cool, I have to admit. This is, first of all, this batch came out a lot slimier than the others, or not slimier necessarily, but thicker. Um, wow, look at that. And these beads, I have to say, it's really cool because it changes um, the texture. It's like, uh, I don't know, I can't really explain it, but it's it's really cool, I have to say. Look at that. Uh. <laughs> and um, from the fun facts that I just read, it's actually pretty cool. They say that goo or slime um, acts as a, um, as a liquid and as a solid. So they say liquid because if you pull it very slowly, it'll stretch and stretch and stretch. But if you grab it real quick and you just pull, it's supposed to just uh, snap. But okay, in this case it's not. But anyway, according to that, it's supposed to just kind of like snap apart if you pull fast enough. Maybe I'm just not pulling fast enough. But anyway, so I thought that was pretty interesting. So that one is really cool. What do you guys think? Okay, so now we're going to make what's called the quick silver concentrate or the pearl swirl. So we're gonna be using this, this large cup and some water. Now you can add color to this, but I'm not going to and here's why. I'm going to need this concentrate for our next batch of goo, which is going to make us a quick silver goo. So if I start adding colors to it, then it's not gonna give us that silver effect for our next um, batch of goo. So um, to make the quick silver batch or the pearl swirl uh, fizzer, I have to fill this cup up with um, water and it says to fill it up practically all the way. So I'm gonna stop right about here. And then I'm gonna take one tablet of the pearl swirl and I'm gonna drop it in, and there's the magic. So this is just so you can see how it bubbles all over the place. Look how cool that is. And 
And you know what? Let me go ahead and give you another look, looking from the top. So here it is from the top, so you guys can get a look. So that's just um, the concentrate just bubbling all over. So it's like fizzling. I guess that's why it's called the Pearl Swirl Fizzler. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and put this back down again. So, and that's pretty much it. I'm sure this would look so cool with, um, with some color. You know what, as a matter of fact, we're gonna try that. I got another cup for a reason, so I'm gonna do that right now in front of the camera. So I'm gonna set this one off to the side because I'm gonna need this for our uh, Quicksilver Goo. So I'm gonna set that off to the side. I'm gonna fill the cup with some water. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough water. Let's see. Uh, not quite enough, but you know what? I got a little bit more here too. I'm still gonna go ahead and do this. It says you have to have the whole thing filled, but this is just more so you can see it start to fizzle with color. So, and then go ahead and add one of the tablets. And there it goes. So that's what it looks like when you add some color to it. How cool is that? <laughs> and here's our other one. It's still fizzling away. Look at that. So you can see it's so blue and white. That is so cool, you guys, isn't it? Okay, so now to make what I think will probably be one of the coolest glues that I've made so far, we're gonna make the Quicksilver glue. And to do that, we're gonna do the same simple steps that we did before. And then it says to make the Quicksilver goo that you just take five to 10 drops of the Pearl Swirl um, or the Quicksilver mix. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and add five to 10 drops in here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I actually put 11. But let's see if that's gonna be enough. Let me add a little bit more. Okay, and let's see if that's gonna be enough here. So now I'm gonna go ahead, put the lid on. Okay, so I'm done shaking it, and I didn't really get that much of a quick silver, like, you know, silvery type color, so um, it didn't really work. I guess I needed to concentrate that um, that quick silver, that pearl swirl, um, a bit more, but I didn't really get to do that because the directions, the instructions told me to add a whole cup of water, so that's what I did, but anyway, um, that's okay. So we'll go ahead and add this in a bag because goo is goo, and it's cool no matter what, and... Just dump it in here. Okay, so there's our goo. It was supposed to be our Quicksilver goo. And we're gonna add, hmm, let's add a few more sparklies in there. To make up for the fact that it didn't come out silvery like I was hoping. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna mix it around a little bit and I'm gonna let this one sit for about five to 10 minutes as well. Okay, and the last goo that we made was the Quicksilver goo, but it didn't come out as Quicksilver, so it didn't come out like, it was Quicksilver, by the way, it's supposed to be more like a silvery type look. So if you remember, I just added some sequins. And this one, I think because I was trying to add so much Quicksilver in there, didn't come out as thick. Um, it did come out gooey, so look at this, so you guys can see. It did definitely come out gooey, but it didn't um, come out like that thick slime that you can hold in your hands. But just so you guys can see, so that's it. But it's too bad. I was really looking forward to having like a silver type of goo, but it didn't come out that way. It's still cool though. There it is. 
And the reason I'm not pouring it all out, like I said, is just too liquidy to do that. But just so you guys can see, it did still come out gooey. Here's some of it. I'll just pour some of it so you can see. But it's not as thick, so it's not as easy to pick up as the other ones were. Okay, now we're moving on to the part that I've been looking forward to this whole time, which is our snow goo. So um, according to the instructions, you just need a quarter of a teaspoon. So I'm just gonna start off with just a tiny bit. Okay, and then it says to immediately add water or yeah, about, I think all the way to the top. So keep your eyes on the cup. Let's see what happens. And not much is happening. <laughs> so we're gonna add more in there. Hang on. It's supposed to make some snow. So I'm gonna add more. Oh wow, look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, are you guys seeing this? It's making the snow. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> is it gonna keep growing? Okay, I'm gonna add a tad bit more water. Here it goes. Oh wow, look at this you guys. I think it's gonna overflow, but hey, that's okay. Wow, look at that. Wow, okay. And this is what it looks like. Oh wow, that is really cool, you guys. So it feels, you know, it's, um, it doesn't really feel like snow. It, it's a little bit more slimier than snow, but it is definitely cool. Oh my gosh, it's really light and airy. Look at that, that is so cool. I think this is probably the coolest one. I think this might be my favorite. This is so cool. Oh, I wish you guys could be here to feel it. So it's, like I said, it's really slimy still but it's very light at the same time. So it's not heavy or anything like that. So it's light like snow. That is really cool. Let me see if you guys can, I don't know if that's too close or not, but that's what it looks like. That is so cool. Well guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want us to make more videos of some more Wacky Labs, be sure to hit that like button so we know. Also, leave us a comment and tell us which goo was your favorite. Did you like the red goo with the bugs in it? Or the clear goo with the sequins in it? Or maybe the green goo with the sequins in it? Or the clear goo with all the beads in it? Or maybe the snow goo? Personally, my favorite was the snow goo. I absolutely love how light and airy it is, but yet slimy at the same time. Well, until next time, bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out our Spanish channel.